Okay, this experiment's really going to be all about the foot pedals themselves. Um, the more I'm doing all these uh, foot pedal related experiments, the more it's becoming obvious that the pedals themselves can make uh, quite a bit of difference. So, our standard setup on the foot pedal instrument is going to be a sustain pedal, like uh, the two in front here of the camera, and then um, a expression or controller pedal. And the sustain pedal is going to trigger the notes in the uh, and the expression controller is going to actually determine the pitch and um, there can also be other combinations of course with breath controller and stuff but that's going to be kind of the default so the first thing is just the uh, using the sustain pedal to create the notes and in this case there's nothing really left to do because I actually already know which it is I just have a couple examples here um, the one actually being spec'd is this Yamaha FC4 and uh, it's just really quiet works real good works real good with our system feels real good. Um, you know, sometimes sustain panels can make a lot of noise, which unless you're cranking at Red Rocks or something is loud enough that it does bug you. So, um, and this one's got good price and works with our system. So that's actually the uh, sustain pedal we're going with. Now here's one of the controller pedals, expression pedals, that's uh, being evaluated. There's quite a few out there. We just uh, I have uh, three or four of them here that I'm going to compare. Um, this is actually more significant to our system because this is what's determining pitch, and this is the one that really does require some dexterity and the ability to uh, put the pedal in the precise position, uh, precise position to uh, make the right note. Um, you know, we're going to be using quantization and other things to help with that, but still, the gist of it is there is some precision involved with the ability to use the pedal. I just wanted to show a piece of high-tech apparatus I came up with for uh, determining a couple of relationships uh, that are kind of important. Um, a fairly key one has to do with the precision required when playing the uh, controller pedals. Um, and essentially comes down to how far you're going to move the pedal compared to how many notes you're going to try to, to make. So I just wanted to show uh, this uh, complex apparatus consisting of what I call a protractor and a ruler is what I used to uh, just develop a bunch of numbers that I'm going to use a little later in my process and all that. But really at the end of the day I'm going to make the decision mostly just on how they feel and how playable they are. Um, but there is somewhat of a numerical aspect to all this too. So I'm just kind of messing around on this watching some football but anyway uh, kind of jamming out a little bit. Just... level of quantization of the notes but not the second level of quantization to scales and stuff which I am still trying to get working but still it's actually somewhat playable Just wrapping up this pedal experiment with my assistant Stella. Um, so some of what I ended up with on the pedals was this chart, um, as I mentioned before, captured in very high-tech uh, fashion. Um, so really when you're moving your foot, uh, you know, it's definitely hard to hit the exact note when you're going on semitone uh, increments. If you try to cover a whole octave, up to about a fifth is pretty good. Um, 
But in general, you know, you're moving anywhere from about one to about one and a half degrees per note. So um, I kind of thought that would be the main driving factor, but in reality, it was much more just the feel and the smoothness of the pedal. Kind of the linearity, but more like how linear it felt probably than the, necessarily how electrically linear it was, although the ones I'm using on purpose do have linear tapers on the potentiometer. Um, I ended up specking for what it's worth these two pedals. I think I'm going to make this the standard one, pretty cost effective, rolling EV5s, pretty good. I liked the lightweightness of it, felt okay. Um, and then the one I found that was the best was this uh, Mission. It's of course the most expensive, so it's going to be like a hundred bucks or so upgrade um, from that one. It actually has less travel, which I thought would be a, a worse thing. But it just made up for that in the smoothness and the feel. Um, as much as anything, wearing like socks or light shoes versus cloud hoppers, big boots, made a big difference. Um, so that's kind of the wrap up on the pedals for now. That's not really the problem. Um, I think the pedal controller will be pretty good for...